Guys, what if I told you that with three teaspoons of baking soda, a little bit of glue, some cheap white paint, and two minutes, you can save yourself a fortune from having to buy professional snow terrain paste. Hello guys, this is MC the Matrix Surgeon here, real life surgeon with passion for all things Warhammer. And signing into today's OR, I'm going to show you head to head how a homemade snow hack holds up against some professional product. Stay to the end to see a special hybrid method I've been using for my Night's Watch army. And if you're a returning viewer to the Miniature Surgeon community, do hit that subscribe button stat to stay up to date with your favorite surgeon. As always guys, timestamps in the description. Let's go. To kick off the recipe, we're gonna add three parts baking soda by volume, one part white PVA glue, and one part of any cheap white acrylic paint into a paper cup. Now mix it vigorously to create the foundation of your terrain paste. The baking soda in this recipe will be the bulking agent to create a fluffy texture, and obviously the paint is there to give the color, but the PVA glue is an interesting ingredient which I'll explain more later. And there we have it, ready to be applied. For this example, I'm going to apply both hack and product on a base prepared with Astral Grand Earth texture paint to simulate snow falling onto a rocky outcrop. Now take a spatula, flat hat screwdriver, or anything of that nature, and spread the paste over the area you want covered. For added visual interest, take some time to move the paste around to create thicker and thinner areas to simulate the uneven nature of snowfall. Taking it a little further, you can add drops of snow paste just around the primary areas to simulate melting snow. You can also press onto the paste and drag it out for a similar effect. Now by itself the PVA glue dries in the translucent layer, so even when it's mixed with paint it retains this property somewhat. So at the areas where the mixture is thinner, it will dry into a semi-opaque white. Next go ahead and grab a pinch of baking soda and just sprinkle onto the areas with fresh terrain paint. Don't worry about the excess, we'll just tap it off when all the terrain paint is dry. As always, we turn to our trusty hair dryer on a high heat and low flow to speed up the drying process. To finish it all off, tap off the excess baking soda and give the dried air of snow a quick layer of storm shield to seal in the texture and to prevent the baking soda from oxidizing and turning into a nasty yellow. Here is contestant number one done, so how does it hold up against the product? Now with GW Texture Paint Valhalla and Blizzard, we're going to do a similar thing and apply it onto a prepared base with Astro Granite Earth. To create more visual interest, I like to add lumps of it to one area and then spread it thin on another to create illusion of melting snow. Yep, you guessed it, back to our trusty hair dryer on high heat and low flow. Before we move on to the hybrid method, here they are side by side, hack versus product. What do you guys think? Our hack definitely looks good enough from a tabletop standpoint, but definitely lacks a little bit of the fluffy texture you get from the professional product. Can you guys think of any workarounds? Do let me know in the comment section below. Moving on to the finale. For the last method, we're going to create a base for your army and characters from the deep arctics. Now we're going to use a snow paste we used previously to coat the entirety of a fresh base. Next we're going to add a small amount of modeling gravel to simulate areas where the rocks still poke through the snow layer. Next, we're going to add some pepper flakes to simulate some debris and dead plants. To top it off, we're going to sprinkle on some baking soda to simulate the topmost fluffy layer of snow and let it dry. To create even more visual interest, we're going to add Valhalla and Blizzard in clusters to simulate fresh fallen snow. And after everything is dried, add a layer of storm shield to protect our organic ingredients from the weather. And there you have it, a base fit for Vestroyans of the 40k universe or a Night's Watch from Game of Thrones. So here we are, hack versus product and something in between. What do you guys think? Now, if you have any tips, do let me know in the comment section and maybe I can make a video all about it. It wouldn't be the first time I learned something from you guys. As always, if you learned something that you didn't already know, go ahead and give me a high five by smashing that like button and hitting subscribe. I know you won't leave me hanging, right? Guys, this is MC the Major Surgeon, signing out.